Welcome to episode 120 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by Amy and Hobbies.com, your one-stop RSD hobby store. At the Big Bear Forest Fest, you'll find tons of tricked out full-size crawlers. There were some RC crawlers at the event as well, and Axial Racing was on hand to show off some of their trick trucks. It's great to see companies like Axial getting RC out to the masses. Hey guys, we're hanging out with Randall from Axial. Tell us about what you've got on the table here. Well, we've got several different RC cars. Uh, we've got the new hot ticket item, the Axial Wraith. This item comes with a 20 turn motor, it's brand new. Um, it's got these 2.2 rip saw tires, and it's also got the uh, labeled licensed Rebel, or the uh, Raceline Renegade wheels. Um, you can see that there's some of our uh, partners in the business there. Uh, this car will do about uh, 15, 20 miles an hour. Um, it's got solid axle suspension. It's got a four-link setup on it. Uh, it's got coilover shocks on it and uh, it really reacts on the trails like a KOH rig. Um, pretty much handles the washboards, handles the rock crawling zones, and uh, just kind of pounds through everything. We'll be driving them a little bit later. I want to drive this right now! <laughs> if your next RC project is not a bird, not a plane or heli, what could it be? How about an RC superhero? That's right, this flying figure is life-size and it takes its lead from our age-old desire to fly like movie heroes such as Superman, the Rocketeer, and Iron Man. This 6 foot 5 inch figure weighs only 3 pounds and is made of thin foam sheet and carbon fiber reinforcement. With an arm span 45 inches, the RC superhero goes together easily and totally knocked our socks off when we first saw it take off from a standing start. Its props and motor develop 6 pounds of thrust. In the October issue of Radio Control Car Action Magazine, we feature a guy who makes all the bodies for his scale rigs out of wood. Take a look at this video and see how it's done. The October issue of RC Car Action tackles one of the hottest debates in RC, electric versus nitro. To explore the subject, we took Losi's oversized LST XXL monster truck and swapped out its big nitro engine for some electric power. You can check it out on the cover and of course read about it inside the issue. You can also see our review of Team Associates' latest two-wheel drive short course truck, the SC10RS. And make sure you tune in to next week's episode to see this high voltage creation in action. A Main Hobbies, the biggest selection of remote control cars, trucks, planes, and helicopters. Want parts and accessories? A Main Hobbies has what you need. Visit us at amainhobbies.com or call 800-705-2215. Get it all at A-Main Hobbies. Leave your competition in the dirt. Our newest book, Precision Aerobatics, is available on September 1st and contains a collection of illustrative maneuvers from beginner to advanced, including mastering the hammerhead, the inverted harrier, and torque roll. To celebrate its release, all of the aerobatic books and DVDs on airhstore.com are on sale now. Everything aerobatic is 25% off for one week only. So be sure to head to airystore.com and save before August 24th.
The Roar Electric Off-Road Nationals recently took place in sunny California and Jay Concepts was there with his new high flow short course body. We'd like to congratulate Jay Concepts and driver Ryan Mayfield for taking the win at the Roar Nats. Now let's see what this body has to offer. Jason Rona here with Jay Concepts. We've got a brand new product release for you. We're at the 2011 Roar Electric Off-Road Nationals in Union City, California. This is the high flow short course truck body. Couple design goals here with the high flow body was basically we wanted to be very user friendly to cut out and trim. You know, especially the high flow areas where you uh, can eliminate the parachute effect. Uh, we wanted to make something even more high performance than our Raptor bodies, which has been the 2010 Roar National Champion body. Uh, we had some requests for something that allowed a little more um, escape um, from the air out of the body. And uh, we were very successful here with accomplishing that. You can see how our, uh, the rear trim line works out here. We're able to do this very quickly with an X-Acto. Um, overall, the high flow body, the design goals, more high performance, more air escape, eliminating that a parachute effect, something so common with these short course trucks. Um, they're very popular, but we're trying to get them to be even more high performance. So we're... With its long and lethal nose and distinctive swept back tail and wings, the F-16 is instantly recognized as one of the Air Force's most popular jet fighters. Sporting the prototype's patriotic red, white and blue paint scheme, the new F-16R from Electrofly is the latest addition to the world of easy to fly RC jets. The electric powered Fighting Falcon is a true ducted fan fighter and a perfect fit for the October issue of Model Airplane News as it's packed with in the fast lane jet excitement. While at RCX, our own Steve and Bess stop by to see our friends at Horizon. Let's check in with them. Hey, I'm here with Roy Alejado of Horizon Hobby, and Roy's gonna walk us through the beginner electric flight products that they have here on hand. Tell us about uh, what's on the table here, Roy. Okay, well, this is a mix of our uh, of all of our different brands. This is our electric flight table. Uh, we, have a, we basically are trying to capture all the different areas in which you can learn how to fly. Over here we have the Apprentice. The Apprentice is a club flyer. It's a, it's a 15, it's, a power, it's powered by a Power 15, something you'd want to take out to a club. With a Radian here and the P51, these are park flyers. You can just take them out to the park, learn how to fly there, as well as the Super Cub. Super Cub is a ready to fly plane. You can fly in a park. It's also got active, uh, active control technology, which means basically you can learn how to fly on your own with this, and it'll, if you're about to crash, it'll auto-stabilize to get you out of, out of a bad situation. We added some floats to it. It comes with, uh, with a tri tricycle landing gear, but you can also do floats if you want to learn how to fly off and on the water. And over here is the rest of our line. Probably the, uh, the, the newest entrant to, the, to our Ultra Micros is the Ultra Micro Striker um, 180. This is, actually, this is powered by a 2S uh, uh, Outrunner. And it's, uh, it's probably, this is the first flying wing um, um, Ultra Micro that we've just introduced in the line. It uh, does amazing things. It's got, uh, it's got um, working rudders, so it can do um, some really amazing uh, things like boomerangs. It can do um, flat spins. It can, uh, it can do harriers. It's an amazing, amazing plane. Head on over to rccaraction.com slash rcshowsweeps and modelairplanenews.com slash rcshowsweeps. Fill out the forms and enter these promo codes to win. Good luck. Hey all you radio control guys, don't forget to check out some of the newest videos in Diecast over at DiecastXMagazine.com. We're going to have a whole new series of some of the greatest models out there. Hey, they don't move, but that doesn't mean they're not cool. Join us on DiecastXMagazine.com. 
Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the October issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time.